Today's topic is Gauss elimination method and this topic is from matrices and linear system of equations. So we have to solve the system of equations using Gauss elimination method. So for that the solution here is the system of equations can be written as The system of equations can be written as, if you observe properly, so this can be written as the quotient of x is equal to 1. So this is 1, 2, 3 and this one is 2, 3, 8 and the quotient of x is 1 for y it is 1 and for z it is 1 into, so this one is x, y, z is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, this is of the form Ax is equal to B. Now, we have to select the argumented matrix. So, the argumented matrix can be written as AB. So, this is AB. So, first, this is 1, 2, 3. 2, 3, 8 and this is 1, 1, 1 and we have to add this column again that is 1, 2, 3. Now it's very clear that 1 is at the top or R1, row 1. So using this R1 we have to make these two 0. So in order to make these two 0, see here R2 affected as, R2 will be as it is like this and we have to multiply with 2 and subtract in order to make this position 0 that is minus 2 r1 and again i have to make this 0 using this one so r3 will be see here r3 will be as it is 1 minus 1 is 0 so r3 minus r1 so there is a change in row 2 and row 3 and row 1 is as it is i am writing that is 1 2 3 1 see here for row 2 there is an operation here for row 2 what is the operation here r2 minus 2 r1 so, R2 I have to write as it is. That is 2, 3, 8, 2 minus in between. And row 1 should be multiplied with 2. So, this is 2, 1 is a 2. 2, 2 is a 4. 2, 3 is a 6. And again 2, 1 is a 2. So, this is the operation on row 2. So, 2 minus 2 is 0. <coughs> 3 minus 4 is minus 1. And this is 8 minus 2 is plus 2. And this is again 0. And again on R3, the operation is R3 again on row 3. What is the operation? R3 minus R1. What is R3? 1, 1, 1, 3. So this is 1, 1, 1, 3. And in between there is minus. And R1, what is R1? 1, 2, 3, 1. So this is 1, 2, 3, 1. And what happens here? 1 minus 1 is 0. That is 1 minus 2 is minus 1. This is 1 minus 2 is minus uh, 1 minus 3 is minus 2 and this is plus 2. And again using this diagonal element, first diagonal element I made these two 0. And again using this second diagonal element I have to make this 0. And this is also so simple. R3 should be 0 here and R3 will be as it is minus R2. If I subtract this that will be 0. See here, this is 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, minus 1, 2, 0. And see here, R3, the change here is R3 is nothing but. So, R3, the change is R3 minus R2. What is R3 here? 0, minus 1, minus 2, 2. And this is minus. And R2 here is 0, minus of minus, plus 1. This is 2 and this is 0. And this will be 0. And this is 0 and this is minus 4 and this is 2. And see after making, after using this and making this 0 and after using this and making this 0. So you have to again split into our normal form as see here. The normal form will be, so as you can see this is 1, 2, 3, 0, minus 1, 2 and 0, 0, minus 4 into Again, it is x, y, z and this column will be 1, 0, 2. So, now using this, we have to calculate the values. So, this can be written as 1 into x plus, so this value is 2y plus 3z is equal to 1 and this is minus y plus 2z is equal to 0 
and 4z is equal to 2. So, first of all, I am using equation, the last equation. So, minus 4z is equal to 2 and z value is equal to 2 by minus 4 and z is equal to, this is minus half. The value here is minus half. And the next equation here is minus y. So, this is minus y plus 2z is equal to 0. And here, if I substitute 2 times of what is z, this is minus half is equal to 0. If I cancel this, minus y minus 1 is equal to 0, minus y is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1 and again the value of y is ready and after that we have to substitute y value and z value in equation 1 that is x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 1 that is x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 1. Now x will be as it is 2 times of what is the y value here this is minus 1 3 times of what is the z value here this is minus half is equal to 1. So this is x minus 2 minus 3 by 2 is equal to 1 and the x value is 1 plus 2 plus 3 by 2 and x is equal to if I take 2 LCM this will be 2 plus 4 plus 3 and x value is nothing but this is 9 by 2. So, after getting x, y, z and that will be the solution. x, y, z will be, what is the x value here? This is 9 by 2. This is 9 by 2 and y value is minus 1 and z value is minus half. And this is how we have to solve. This is so simple if you practice. And uh, so, the system of equation can be written as ax plus b. We have to frame an argument matrix. So, we have to add this column here at the last. And using this first diagonal elements, we have to make these two 0. And using the middle diagonal element, we have to make this one 0. And after that, we have to again frame in the form of Ax is equal to b. And again, we got three equations. After solving this one, we will get z. Keeping the z value here, we will get y. And keeping yz values, we will be getting x value. And here are the values for x, y, z and this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for staying till the end. If you really like you know what to do, please subscribe to this channel and it will be very helpful for your preparation and please pass it on to your friends and before you leave you know what to do, please raise your thumb.